In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add a sprite in Facer, how to add your first image. That's how everything started with one image. So if we look at our uh, project folder, there's the folder assets images, and then we have background.png. That's the file we're going to load and display on the screen. So on the preload method of our, of our state, that's where we, um, as the name suggests, we preload all of our game assets. In order to load um, a game asset, you need to call this.load.image. This refers to the current object we're in. Load will refer to a loader object that Facer has, and then that allows us to grab uh, to load a new image. We need to give every image that we load, we need to give it a key. That's any name that you want to write. It doesn't have to match the file name. We'll call this one background. And then you specify the path for the particular image that you want to load. In this case, it's in the asset folder, images, background.png. That's where the image is located. This will load the image from disk into the memory of our computer, phone, tablet, whichever device we're using. And once all of these images, and in this case just one, but once everything here is loaded, then this is executed. When we're on create, we already have access to the image. So what we would need to do if we want to show it on the screen is create a new sprite. I'm going to call this sprite uh, background and I'm going to add it to the current object. Why do we do this? Is this is I usually do this with all the images so that then I can refer to them in other methods of my code. This dot background equals this dot game dot add, this dot game will always give us access to the main game object, dot sprite. Then we specify the coordinates of our image. Coordinates in Facer are start from the top um, left corner. So 0, 0 is in the top left. If you move to the right, that's positive on X. If you move down, that's positive on Y. So this will be placed on the top left corner and the, the image itself um, will uh, is, is positioned according to its own top left corner. That's where the image the image's anchor point is. You can change that as well, but we'll look into that later on. And then we need to refer to the actual key of the image, which is background. And it's just that simple. So everything that's happening here is an image is being loaded from the disk. We call it background. That's the key that we will use everywhere in our code. Then in create, we, we create this new sprite, we place it on the top left, and it refers to the background image. 